<laughs> no, I don't want to start. Oh, boo. All right, this time is, we're gonna turn the compressor off. So, okay, the fan started. Got AC going. So, let's try another thing with it off echo. Okay, we're gonna see if it'll start cross the line with uh, compressor and fan without the echo mo or without the echo mo mode on. So we're back in the shop again <clears throat> after doing the um, running it uh, with the AC. So if you didn't catch what I did, did just did it was I first. And with echo mode on, um, the heater was on too, by the way, just so you know, because it's cold. Um, I tried hitting the AC, just, you know, fan and compressor at the same time, and this wouldn't overload. So, went back outside, reset the, reset it, and uh, turned the fan control, or turned the temperature gauge on the, AC up to like, you know, all the way up to like 90 something so the compressor wouldn't kick on. Got the fan started, then started the AC. This bogged down a little bit, but it was able to pull it uh, pull it up. Um, I don't know about your guys' AC, but mine, uh, once, the, once you're, the fan's on, it stays on. The compressor is the one thing that will kick on and off. Um, but I went back outside. I turned the echo mode off or the, what are they calling it? The ESC throttle uh, throttle control, or the hell. Anyway, I turned that off and let it, you know, rub to the moon, and then it was able to start the fan and compressor at the same time, no problem. So, yeah, and it, my I think I have like a, if I did the math right, I think I have like a uh, 10 kW or 10 kW uh, 10,000 uh, BTU uh, AC. So. I don't know, it's up to you guys. But anyway, I'm happy with this. I'm keeping it. So you guys have a great day.